Well, as you can see, we've kind of started to uh, take this Hyundai apart and uh, get a good look at it here. And the first thing I did was take the inspection cover off. Um, and notice that this belt is just extremely loose. I can't, I can't pull it out, so I can't really tell if it's broken down below or if it's just the tensioner that went out of it and caused a whole bunch of slack in it. But it's not good either way. Um, gonna have to uh, get to it and really see what's going on from underneath uh, through the wheel wheel here. Taking the tire off. This is pretty much as far as I've gotten. Um, but hopefully um, I didn't damage any valves but I'm kinda kinda doubting that scenario because I when I crank the engine over it seems like it's locking up like there's a, a valve hitting a piston hanging it up so probably did some damage there because it was running when it finally just died um, but the banana is going to come over tomorrow and uh, we're going to go ahead and start tearing into this uh, get that uh, the accessory belts off so we can get the crank pulley off and this uh, timing cover off and then we'll actually be able to see what we're doing but my back's a little screwed up so I'm not going to do that on my own right now um, so I'll get to that tomorrow alright well I don't know where the banana is today uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this on my own um, I've already gone ahead and taken off the alternator belt and the power steering belt and on this one it has air conditioning but the belt uh, hasn't been on there so I didn't have to remove that if you had AC and it was still connected you'd have to take that off and uh, now my, my next step is I'm going to get this out of the way so I'm going to pull it off here and pinch it off or something and just flop it out of my way and then I'm going to take this bracket off here and that will allow me to get the motor mount out of the way so that I can jack up the engine and I have to get to that water pump pulley down there and it's got four bolts that hold it in but this frame here is in the way I can't get a ratchet in there so I'm going to have to jack up the engine to get to it so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Well, Alright, I've got the uh, motor mount off and this bracket off and I've jacked up the engine and I was able to take the water pump uh, pulley off. Actually went uh, a lot easier than I thought it would. Uh, one thing I would do differently than what I did is I would leave one of these belts on on the water pump pulley so you can break these bolts loose uh, without having to hold the, the pulley. I was able to break it free just fine but you know in case you might have a really rusty bolt or something I'd say leave that belt on and jack up the engine and do it that way um, one thing I'm noticing here is that the water pump pulley is kinda worn through the timing cover here a little bit and I brought the light to this other side and I looked and it, it looks like the whole timing cover is pushed out a little bit so I don't know if that's a chunk of belt in there just kinda jammed up in there pushing it out or a piece of the tensioner is you know messed up or what but I'm going to have to uh, see what the deal is with that. Um, to get to that I'm going to have to, I believe I'm going to have to take the crank pulley off and of course all the bolts for the timing cover and probably my makeshift little bracket here for the alternator looks like it will hold it up there a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and break this uh, crank bolt loose and take that off and then uh, pull the timing cover and we'll see what it looks like and exactly what's going on down there to create that bulge. Well, I've got the uh, timing cover off and I've got the crankshaft pulley off just down here. Pull it up and show you. Uh, it's real easy to get this off. You just pull the bolt out of the middle, hit it with an impact and it'll come out. And then uh, you should be able to just pull this right off. Um, you may have to give it a little slight tap on the hammer, but I was able to just pull it off by hand. And now I can see what the problem is and it's that it's that uh, idler wheel there has come apart somehow and caused the timing to be off. Um, I kind of thought maybe that was the case after I pulled this top part of the cover off and I saw that the belt was still here and I couldn't pull it out it was just uh, it had a lot of slack in it. Um, so maybe I didn't do as much dam as it, damage as I thought I did to the engine. Um, you never know I mean it certainly had enough uh, speed going to where the valve probably hit a piston and had enough energy to damage it but you know what I, might, I may just throw a, a new belt and tensioner at it and give it a try and see if it'll run um, 
That'd be great if it did, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that uh, pull that tensioner wheel out and just take a look at it and see what actually broke. Um, also, probably try to get this back in time. Now you can go on the internet to uh, I believe it's HMAService.com and sign up for that. It's uh, Hyundai Motor America website basically and you can get all the instructions for putting a new timing belt on and all sorts of shop manuals and stuff so uh, probably go up there and see exactly where the marks timing marks need to be I think that this hole has to line up with that little red mark up there on the cam and then down there there should be some marks as well uh, I'm gonna go look that up but yeah maybe I didn't do as much damage as I thought and maybe I won't have to uh, replace any valves I guess I'll have to wait until I get a new belt and a tensioner to see. Well, here we are. I pulled the uh, the wheel off, and as you can see, it's definitely a catastrophic failure. Um, looks like it broke here and then just came free, and that was all she wrote. Um, I'll go down below, and you can kind of see a better shot of where that was supposed to be attached to. Hopefully, I get a better shot of it, but. Uh, the wheel was originally attached right here and this this arm here is what holds it together and it pivots on this bolt right there and uh, spring tension keeps this thing tight so the wheel would sit here keep the belt tight but when the wheel broke a lot of slack in there and uh, probably did some damage and I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera but there's on that tooth right there where my thumb is there's a little indentation and up a little higher I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the light in there to show you yeah come from the back angle maybe I don't know if you guys can see that little knob right there so that has to be lined up with that knob when I put it back together and then of course the uh, the camshaft side of it, that hole in the cam wheel there is going to have to be lined up with a uh, little red dot inside there that I don't know if you guys can see but it's pretty much vertical straight up and down so when I get the new when I get the new uh, tensioner and belt because I'm not going to obviously reuse this belt I will try to turn probably have to turn the the crankshaft as far as I can before it hits the valve and then turn the cam um, because right now I can't uh, I can't turn the cam so I'll have to turn the crank and when the valves is hitting somewhere um, we'll get that all lined up and then I'll put the new belt on with a new tensioner and hopefully it'll work um, that'll be a while I'm gonna order parts and tomorrow's Sunday so yeah it may be a while before I get another video but that's where we stand right now